Hey gamers, welcome back to another interesting episode of Let's Play Tonight. It's your boy Josh, doing a solo episode today. And uh, I'm really excited about this game here. It is um, Double May Cry, the newest version. Um, it has an exclusive Xbox demo, which I have right now. And uh, yeah, I'm real excited to play it. It's the first time I've seen it. Um, I've played basically every other game in the Devil May Cry franchise. I've been pretty happy with all of them so far. I'm a big fan of these types of action games. And we're going to see what this game has in store for me. And it's going to be fun. It's going to be absolutely fun. These games are always just a hoot and a half at the very, very least. So I'm interested to see where this one takes me. But uh, I know a little bit about the game. I've seen some of the trailers. Um, apparently it's the 15th of June at 5 in the morning. That's it. No more wheels from here. All right. Guess I'm walking. Then. I know who that guy is. I don't know no, this no, woman. No. Check it out. What? I know she's important to the story. I just don't know who she is yet. This is from Morrison. I think it's his manifesto. Oh, his manifesto tells me how to fucking press the pause menu. That's a shitty manifesto. <laughs> and how to control the game. That seemed like a useless cutscene. That didn't tell me anything. You could have just put this on the loading screen to go to the first... Like, why did we even get that cutscene? What was even the point? Or, other than just to show her... I don't even know this bitch. Oh, is this it? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm just fucking, I'm just going along. Nice. Oh, wow. Okay. What are you lonely? Hurry up and get moving. So one of the things that's like a, a general premise about this game is that most, most of the characters that you play have like upgradable parts. Um, and what's really cool is that as you went through the last game, this character was in Nero. Like all, a lot of the things that I'm pretty sure I can do from the get go. Yeah, like this double jump, his little like boost run here all those are things that you unlock going through the last game oh okay i just teach you about red orbs which are basically like the money of this game they look really fucking cool though oh my gosh like that's significantly more detailed than i think they've ever been in a series ever which is nice can i get it by oh no okay i used to be able to get red orbs by just like whacking shit oh is that okay? Oh, all right. Well, that happened. Alrighty. What a mess. Okay, and so B normally whenever you go through a game like this, like B is like a character specific action. So in the previous game, he had like a demon arm. I don't know why his arm is metal now. Maybe he got rid of his demon arm. I'm not too sure. But B is now the devil breaker. Oh, that's fucking cool. You just... You just do like a fucking kick-ass electric attack. That's dope as shit. My favorite part is if you look at like my health bar up top, like it... It like... Sparks my health bar. That's super cool. I wonder if he can still do this. Yo, he can still rev his sword too. So you can rev up your sword, and I don't know anything about this sword, it was never explained, but like you can rev it up and then when you do an attack, it like looks even more cool. Cause like this is what the attack looks like normally, and then when you rev up the sword, you can do it like that. Or does this still do the quick rev too? Ah, oh, yep. Yeah boy. Oh my god, all the shit's still here. This is literally the best version of this character, and I think it's only gonna get better, because this is the beginning of the game. I, I think, maybe, maybe it's not, I'm not sure. But, cutscene time! Oh boy! This game is pretty as shit. Damn, this game is pretty. Oh, those are nasty looking. Time to fight! Attack with my Devil Breaker. Taking damage during this attack. Okay. So it looks like... And I can charge the attack too. In order to... De destroy it? Why would I do that? That, that seems weird. 
Although I do have four of them. Oh wait, okay. Oh no, can you still do the, the alternate combo too? Like, one, two, space. Yup. Do that. Can you still charge up this weapon? Oh hell yeah. Ah, let's go! Let's do this. Nothing has changed. This game is still everything I remember it to be. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh man. Oh. This feels so good. I forgot how much I enjoyed this. Oh. And I haven't even done anything yet. I can't go up there, although it looks like there's something. Oh! Nice! Nice, 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 nice. It looks like a wall jump just there. Oh, so wall jumping is back. Okay, can I wall jump and double jump still? Nope, okay. But I can go this way. Give myself a bunch of red orbs. Hell yeah. Is this the way I'm supposed to go, I wonder? That does not look like a normal enemy. Oh, it's running away. The fuck back here. Oh! Oh, it gives me red orbs. That, that explains why it was so interesting looking. Oh, I can't pull things to me in the air. Come here, bitch. Oh, okay, and that gives me green orbs. Sorry, it's green. The next objective cannot be used during combat. It's gonna tell me I have to go back that way. I figured since this had a bunch of extra shit that it wasn't the way I was supposed to go, which is why you should go over here. I mean, that's, that's a common thread in most video games is that you go off the beaten path to find extra rewards and shit because you're not supposed to be there. Okay. That's cool. Oh, wait a minute. Sever and detonate your arm, losing a double breaker in your magazine. So I can... I can break them. What are demons doing in a city like this? To just get more arms? Something to this place. Okay, so it looks like I can only hold four. So, it looks like I have another one back there, so I'm gonna break this one and pick this one up. What does this one do? Oh, that's like a shockwave, okay. Oh! And when I move, it like propels me. Can I do it in the air? Oh, yo! Aerial mobility. Oh, I can do it more than once! Oh my god! Yo! And I can double jump too! Oh, this is amazing! Yo, this is amazing! Oh, it's another one of these. Come here. You're trying to leave? Try to do it. I should try to get in some revs. I don't remember the timing for it anymore though. Oh, these are enemies. Bitch! I'm making it easy for me, huh? Let's try to step in and leave it. Okay, so I can at least charge up. So I charge up three shots. But I have to let one go right then and there. But I can hold on to the other two, which is nice. Because those shots are going to be really good at keeping my... Okay, so there's another Gerbera. 
So I could charge it up too. I wonder why. I didn't even see what the other charge up move was. So since I have two more of these, I want to see what these charge up moves are since it looks like I'm going to, like these are just going to be collectibles that I can just randomly get. Okay. So that, that's nice. So what does this do? So it's charge. Let me see if it charges more than that. Nope. Just just this much, okay. Got a little something for you. Oh shit! Yo, it's just a power fire in my Wow! That's cool. That's cool as shit. Okay, so I'm just grabbing overture. And let's see what its charge up move is. Oh, looks like I had to hit somebody with it in order for it to actually or can you charge up more than once? No. Nope. Yeah, and, and that has to hit something. Okay. So then, next fight, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit something with that charge up move. I wonder, can I can I like charge this up while I? Oh my god, this game! It lets me charge shit up while I'm fucking. Okay, so the real question. And I charged up my oh. I just did the thing. So I can charge up my gun while I'm doing shit. Oh my gosh. I can fucking... I can fucking charge this shit up while I'm doing shit. Uh, well... That's gonna be real handy later. No pun intended. Cause you know... Hands. Oh! Oh, I, that, that went into a, a scene. I I thought I was gonna fight some things, and there was like a red orb thing right there that I, I thought I was gonna get to. No, it just moves me straight ahead. Okay. Oh, I literally just figured that out. <laughs> thanks, game. Thanks, thanks, game. Oh my gosh. So I want to see what happens when I use this fucking push away thing. Oh, well, oh, hey, here's some enemies. Fuck you! Fuck you! Yeah! Are these, oh shit! Enemies that actually attack back! Uh oh! I have to worry about combat now! Bitch! charge up my gun. It's okay though. I just find arm pieces around. It's cool. Just a lot of people, lots of people had like just fucking arms that they didn't need. It's alright. It's no big deal. Getting really sick of this stupid tree. Apparently this tree's been here for a minute. If he does if he's had a reason to be sick of it. God, just look how fucking pretty this game is. Jesus Christ. And the dynamic lighting? Oh. Oh my god. This game is pretty as shit. Alright. We go down here. Another fight, I assume? Nope. I guess not. Okay. But here's some... Here's some healing. Which means I imagine something important is about to happen. If the game is attempting to give me... Life. Okay, so it doesn't look like I can go that way. Oh. Oh goodness. What's up, bitch? Why is it why is it that I'm not doing the combo now? There we go. Oh, okay, so I gotta be back again. There we go. 
So I knock him down, and then my down attack is is the direct or is back in that same direction. It's good to know that these controls haven't changed. So that was actually one of my worries with the with the new game is that they would like drastically change how the characters work, and that was one of the coolest things about playing Dante in Double May Cry Four was that Devil May Cry 3 Dante is basically exactly who you... Okay, so I don't... what I don't understand. Apparently I need a hatchling or whatever to do stuff. Okay. What up, guys? Okay, that so that has a range. That's good to know. Go! I'm trying to get these revs, man. I gotta get that timing back. I literally just find I, it's 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 crazy to me. But there are just arms everywhere. I'm gonna go ahead and get this one. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and charge this up real quick. Now I did the sword slash so that way I didn't have to use. Oh, this must be the hatchling thing that I was looking for. Yeah, I just put it in my pocket. It's cool. I'm just, uh, this parasitic thing, I'm just gonna put on the side of my body. It, it's no big deal. I don't actually need it. Are they gonna make me fight before I put it in there? Nope, it looks like I can just do it. Okay. So we're gonna just do it. Now, I fail to see exactly how this is gonna help at all. But it looks like it's it went in there, and I guess it's gonna eat it from the inside, maybe? I don't understand... Yeah, I guess so. Does that mean the thing's dead? Like, did it hat? I don't know. It, I mean, it's a hatchling. So I guess, I, you know, I'm not even gonna bother trying to gonna understand it. This new arm is pretty sweet. Hell yeah! Although I'm really worried about what happened to your other arm and the implications of your double trigger whenever I figure out how that works in this game. But I'm probably gonna have to wait for the full game for that to be a thing. Although I've seen some other characters in their double triggers, and it just sure seems pretty dope. I wish some more help, in case I'm bad at this game and don't need it. Also, this game does the nice thing that the old games did, where they give you red orbs for your vitality if you have full vitality. Uh, arms galore. Yeah, I'm definitely going into a boss fight now. This seems like a lead up to a boss fight. They give me a bunch of red orbs. And a bunch of arms in case I already lost them. So I imagine this little space right here is going to be... Oh, yeah, here's a cutscene. Here we go! Let's-a go! <laughs> he just tossed the fucking car at me. Somebody call a doctor? Oh, you're a big boy. Sorry to disappoint you. Hey, you happen to see a guy around here about this big uses a cane? Now that's an oh, interesting thing. Did you snack on him? He's probably talking about the new playable character, V. Okay, so he understands who Nero is. King? You? Interesting. I don't know. I mean, you're a big guy and all, but you seem more like a knuckle scrapping fart in the wind than anything else. Fart in the wind, okay. <laughs> no offense. So I bet this is oh 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 he's got a he's got a mouth stomach. I can only imagine he did that because he's probably gonna shoot that back out at me. Yep, solved it. And it explodes! Hey, do you do party? That's cool. Incandescent Colossus. So we're gonna start out by shooting this bitch. 
I'm not gonna worry about style points in this fight because yeah, maybe I, will. Uh, I wanna not die. And bosses are notorious in Devil May Cry games for I'm I'm a little annoyed that I actually have to uh that I have to um how do I get away from this? Yeah, cause that. Oh shit. Okay. Also, yeah, that that aerial mobility feels like it's going to be like the best thing possible in this game. Oh. Oh, we're okay. So we're we're moving. Okay. I probably need to get away from that. Yep. Okay. My boss fight instincts are still good. Okay. Dude, the fact that I can just fucking get the fuck out of dodge in the air is super dope. Along with the fact that I can then do shit to like get near him. Oh my god, this shit's dope as shit. Oh my god, this is so good. Okay, so he can still hit me up there. So getting up in his face is not a way to avoid attacks. That's good to know. Nope, get out. Okay, so we move back. I don't okay. What what is he oh 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 Okay He is Let's oh oh god by spinning a double Okay. Is the game gonna give me more arms then? Because... And apparently I need to use the arms to avoid one of his attacks. I bet you there are other arm pieces literally laying... Oh, yep, that called it. Give me a Gerbera. Screw you, bitch. Oh shit. Oh, no, no, he's probably gonna explode. I'm just so fucking good at game. Oh, okay. I would rather not. I wonder if I can stun you. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Can just move out of the fucking way? Just not fucking give a shit? This is dope as hell. Okay, so that, that, that does stun me. I bet you hitting his face a good number of times does the thing. Again? Okay, yeah, it does look like he is. So, oh shit. I don't think I can avoid this. Is he gonna make me? I really don't want to get hit by this attack. Nice! I avoided it. I'm just so fucking good. Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay, now he's shooting shit at me. Oh, I can do the I can do the fucking raise in the air too. That's nice. That's nice to know. Oh yeah, this is it. This is it. I can hear his face. I can hear his face. Get 
Are you exploding again? I want to just go ahead and finish him with some charge shots. That's no fun. Oh! 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 Okay! I guess you're just gonna fucking rush at me now. That's good to know. Can you do it again? No, you're just gonna do your easily telegraph attacks. You just slam to you? Yep. There it is! Okay! You know what? That, that wasn't too bad. That, I feel like that was a pretty good introduction to the boss. It kinda, it kinda tells you a couple things about the game, like enemies that can't be stopped, avoiding attacks, using your double breaker to interact with them in, in, in interesting ways. Oh! I bet you that wasn't actually the end of the scene, but because this is a demo, it won't do anything else. Yo, I got an A rank first try? Yo! Can I actually use my red herbs on anything right now, I wonder? With King, Storm of Swords, Max Vectality, Combo Damage, Master Swordsman, Sniper, Exceed Excellence, Risk Taker, Red and Pusa Hunter, and Pusa Escape, Terminator, Environment Wrecker, Penny Pincher, and Get Wet. I don't know what that means. I have a pretty good idea of what these other things mean, but I have no idea what the fuck Get Wet is. Oh well. That was, that was good. Dude, my crab's back. Dude, is there anything interesting, like any sort of uh, like end ending cutscene or nope, nope? Just uh, I can go back to the title screen of the demo, and then they give me interesting things to buy stuff. So hey, you know what? That was that was pretty good. I'd say it was pretty interesting overall. Um, the game looks and feels very much like Devil May Cry, and that's nice. That is that is incredibly nice. So we'll see what it's like when it comes out uh you may end up seeing more of it on the channel it's a very very real possibility and from here yeah we're just gonna go ahead and let it rock so thanks for hanging out with me and uh we'll see you guys later ta-ta